U.S. Physics Olympiad, year 2015, USA, PHO. Final exam. Problem B2. The nature of magnetic dipoles. Part A. The Gilbert dipole consists of a pair of magnetic monopoles, each with a magnitude Qm, but opposite magnetic charges separated by a distance d, where d is small. In this case, assume that a negative Qm is located at z equals 0, and the positive Qm is located at z equal d. Assume that the magnetic monopoles behave like electric monopoles according to a Coulomb-like force f equal mu0 over 4 pi multiplied by qm1 qm2 over r square and the, the magnetic field obeys uh, b equal f over qm first question what are the dimensions of the quantity qm second question write an exact expression for the magnetic field strength bz along the z axis as a function of z for z greater than d write your answer in terms of uh, qm d z and any necessary fundamental constants third question evaluate this expression in the limit as a d going to zero assuming that the product qmd is a pm is a kept constant, keeping only the lowest non-zero term. Write your answer in terms of uh, Pm, Z and any necessary fundamental constants. Solution for question 1. What are the dimensions of the quantity Qm? From a second equation we have Dimension for Qm equal dimension for force divided by dimension for magnetic field. But force equal current multiplied by length multiplied by magnetic field. If we put this expression to this expression, the magnetic field is cancelled and we have finally dimension for Qm equal ampere multiplied by meter. That's the answer for the first question. Solution for question 2. Here we can use definition in the first and the second formula. So we have by definition magnetic field has uh, this expression. And uh, finally we can get this formula. Solution for question 3. Now when we have limit uh, d going to 0, we can estimate this uh, part of expression and we have this estimation. For small d, that's uh, approximately equal this expression and uh, finally 2d over z. And now we can put this to this formula and get this final answer for magnetic field where Pm is a Qm multiplied by D. So that's the answer for question 3. Part B. An ampere dipole is a magnetic dipole produced by a current loop I around a circle of a radius R where r is small. Assume that the z-axis is the axis of uh, rotational symmetry for the circular loop, and the loop lies in the x-y plane at z equal 0. First question. Write an exact expression for the magnetic field strength bz along the z-axis as a function of z for z greater than zero. 
write your answer in terms of I, R, Z, and any necessary fundamental constants. Second question. Let K, I, R, power gamma have a dimensions equal to that of the quantity P, M, defined above in a part A3, where K and gamma are dimensionless constants. Determine the value of uh, gamma. Question 3. Evaluate the expression in part B1 in the limit as uh, R going to 0, assuming that the product K I R power gamma equal to P M prime is uh, kept constant, keeping only the lowest non-zero term. Write your answer in terms of K, P M prime, Z and uh, any necessary fundamental constants. Question 4. Assuming that the uh, two approaches are equivalent, P M equal P M prime, determine the constant K in part B2. Answer for question 1. Write an exact expression for the magnetic field strength BZ along the x-axis of the function of Z for Z greater than 0. Uh, we can use here Biosavar law and uh, calculate this uh, BZ. That will be mu zero i over four pi multiplied by circular integral dl cross product with the s divided by s cube where s is a vector which is going from a point on a circle to point in a axis z and uh, finally we have uh, this expression multiplied by sine theta and the uh, theta that's uh, the angle between axis z and the vector s and uh, finally we have this answer for question one solution we know from part a3 that pm has dimension ampere multiplied by meter square it means that gamma equal 2 that's the answer for question 2 question 3 evaluate the expression in part b in the limit as uh, r going to 0 assuming that the product k i r gamma equal p m prime is kept constant keeping only the lowest non-zero term. Solution. We have a solution for BZ equal this one. And if you know that I R square is constant and the denominator going to Z cube here because R going to zero, we can rewrite this expression in form of this one. This is the answer for question 3. Question 4. Assuming that the two approaches are equivalent, PM equal PM prime, determine the constant K in part B2. Solution. Because in part A, magnetic field was uh, this expression and uh, here a magnetic field is this expression and uh, pm equivalent to pm prime we have uh, k equal pi that's the answer for question four part c now we try to compare the two approaches if we model a physical magnet as being composed of densely packed microscopic dipoles. A cylinder of this uh, uniform magnetic material has a radius r and the length l. It is uh, composed of uh, n magnetic dipoles 
that could be either Ampere type or Gilbert type and is a very large number. The axis of rotation of the cylinder and the, all of the dipoles are all aligned with the Z axis and all point in the same direction as they defined above so that the magnetic field outside the cylinder is the same in either dipole case as you previously determined. Below is a picture of the two dipole models. They are cubes of side D much less than R and D much less than L with the volume Vm equal D cube. First question. Assume that R much greater than L and only Gilbert type dipoles determine the magnitude and direction of B at the center of the cylinder in terms of any or all of uh, PM, R, L, VM, and any necessary fundamental constants. Solution The monopoles that make up the dipoles cancel out except on the flat surfaces. Then the cylinder acts like a parallel plate capacitor. If the size of a dipole is a D, then the surface density of monopole charge is uh, sigma m equal qm over d square. Using the analogy with the parallel plate capacitors, the magnitude of B is mu zero sigma m, which is equal mu zero pm over d cube, and the direction is uh, to the left. That was the uh, answer for question 1. Question 2. Assume that R much less than L and only ampere tape dipoles determine the magnitude and direction of B at the center of the cylinder in terms of any or all of PM, R, L, VM and any necessary fundamental constants. Solution. The currents that make up the dipoles all cancel out except on the cylindrical surfaces. Then the cylinder acts like a solenoid with the B equal mu zero I over D, where I over D is the surface current density. The magnitude of uh, magnetic field B is now is uh, this one, and uh, the direction is uh, to the right. That was answer for question two.